button and comment down below videos you'd like to see. In this video I am going to be showing you how I got Moon to get on a trailer. When I got this I didn't think I would have a problem because Moon has been on trailer before and she's been on horse boxes and I've never had a problem and then when I tried to put her on it for the first time she went absolutely berserk. Unfortunately I didn't get on video because I didn't think it was going to have a problem. Because I didn't think that we was going to have a problem. So unfortunately you don't get to see the first day. But I will show you from the second day onwards. All I ended up needing was a hay net and a feed bucket. You didn't really have to have both but I just decided to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, she's fine with getting on and off now. But I'll show you how I got her on and how I, like, when she wouldn't get on at all. So I will show you that now. I'm just going to let her stand here while I, um, I take the bar down. So I have also taken the front bar down and I also took the head partition out because I felt that that was making her a lot more nervous going in. So I have taken that out as well. So she's probably just going to walk straight on now because I'm going to try and make, get her to not so I can show you how I got her to go straight on. What I did with the feed bucket is I put that straight in all the way down at the front and then what I did with the hay net is to get her to walk on I will swing around and I'll show you. So basically what I did is I had the hay net here and then I every time I moved back with the hay net she would just follow. Kind of like that. So I pretty much just did that until she walked on and normally it was I had to stop, move it a little bit and she would kind of think about it and then she would walk on and everything like that. So I'm just going to pop the tainer up. Um, I'm just going to pop the tainer in there. I'm also going to open the side window here just so it's a little bit brighter. So this is day two, she completely refused to get on the trailer with me walking on so I thought you know I'm just going to stand here, she knows there's their food in there, this is fast forwarded, she knows there's food in there and if she wants something to eat that's where she has to go kind of thing. So I just stood there, it took about 10 minutes um, and she gradually worked her way on. I just dropped the lead rope just because I didn't want to follow her after I make her nervous. So I just dropped the lead rope and then just kind of stood outside. And in this next clip, um, I'm standing kind of where I am, but with my phone with me, making some noise. <coughs> because um, the main problem that I was having with her is even once she got on, as soon as I went behind her, she would just reverse straight out. 
So I'm trying to get her used to me being behind her. She didn't, I've never had a problem with it before, so I don't know. I think she's just panicking. And here she does return herself back out, and that is what she had been doing. She did break um, a couple of baining twines the first day I done her because I just tied her up so I didn't think she'd be a problem and she broke them. So this is her back on after we stood there again. As you can see she doesn't want to go all the way in, she likes to have her back foot on the kind of ramp. Here she does actually go back in but then um, she does kind of reverse back out once she's kind of realized that she's gone in but I was quite happy with her here because she didn't reverse all the way out she just kind of came a little bit out and then she stood back in so I was I was really quite happy with her there because of like she done that herself and then here I this is the end of our session for this day and I wanted to be the one that brought her out so she knows that she's not always the one that decides when she leaves and I gave her loads of like scratches and pets and said she was a good girl. So this is day two, sorry for the camera angle, but you'll see why in a bit. So this is day two and I was seeing if she would walk on with me. Um, she did stand there for a minute and think about it. And then she did eventually a walk on after I circled round so I thought oh she's just gonna stand there let me circle to get her brain thinking about something else and then here I am walking on and again she does think about it but she puts her feet on the ramp and then she does like to stop after she's put her front feet on um, and again, I just kind of show her that her hay's in there and that I'm not, I'm not pulling her or causing any um, kind of pressure. She's the one that needs to decide if she's going to go forward or backwards. I found that the more you pull, the more resistant they are. And then they don't feel that they have a choice, so they will just go backwards. And they are a lot stronger than you. So here she actually let me get right behind her this day. Um, I was stroking her bum and like playing with her tail just to show her like this is nothing new. This is kind of like it's the same thing as if she was in stable or out in the field like I'm still going to do the same stuff. So I was patting her and throwing her tail around and making like some noises. Here also I'm just seeing if she will put that foot on and she decided not to she did try to reverse out but i just said oh, it's okay it's okay and then she did stop and she went slightly forward again i then decided to see if i could ask her to come forward from the front um and i did and then i just went back to patting her and kind of messing about with her tail I also in a minute um, kind of move the bar and kind of make make it make noise here like kind of bang it about and stuff like that just to see what she will do um, she was absolutely fine with that I then tried to put it so just like so it was resting on her and then as soon as I felt her kind of not sure I put it down and then I actually did find she had um, two quite um, not very nice bite bugs bug bites on in between her kind of like thighs so I thought you know what what is more normal than me putting cream and stuff like that on any of her bites that she gets so I went and done that because I thought hey that's another normal thing that I could do in the trailer so I went and I got her flannel and everything like that and obviously I had to look at it and make sure they weren't like ticks or anything and yeah and then after I done that I put the bar up again just to show her that it goes up and down pretty much was just asking her to see if she would go forward again 
and she decided she wanted to go backwards and I was like no we've got to go forward and she did actually go forward enough for me to put the bar up so I put the bar up and here you can see she kind of thinks that oh there's something behind me now but then she calmed down so I thought let me put the back ramp up and see how she goes because she's been in the trailer before and that stuff so I'm not quite sure why she didn't also I wanted to show you what was really important that I was doing so when you open the trailer if you leave it like that it does stick out from the ramp but if you pull these back in then they can't, they're not sticking out of the ramp because I was thinking if she's panicking and she steps off the side of the ramp and that's sticking out she's gonna hurt herself and probably break it so yeah so this was the second time in after she'd been like put in and she walked in pretty well so I thought you know what let's see if she'll come out front so I brought her out of the front and she was absolutely fine she really kind of thinking about it now and I thought you know what let me put the ramp up while she's standing with me because she's not normally a scaredy horse so I thought let me put all the ramp up and the ramp down so she can see it's like we're doing everything there's nothing to be scared of again I put the ramp down with her and then she wasn't 100% as sure as the second time that she went on this day but she did go on pretty easily I also decide to um, in the next day remove that bar and put it on the other side so when she walks in she can't hit it because I found as she was getting more comfortable she was knocking the bar slightly with like her knees and stuff so I thought let me just move that out of the way so this day the third day is the day that we done pretty the majority of of the work kind of getting her used to it and getting her more comfortable so that's why this day is kind of like the longest bit of the video because this was the majority of the work I do however mess up quite badly in a minute and it was 100% my fault um, and it really set her back but it was 100% my fault so and I knew it was as soon as I done it I was just like why did I do that but you'll see that in just a second so here again I am putting, a, putting the back up and getting her out of the front. So again I decide to put the ramp down while she's standing with me just to show her again that it's nothing new and I've put the side ramp up before I um, put her in so in a minute is where I make the mistake So I'm trying to get her to move on a little bit more um, just so I can put the back bar up. This is going to be the last time that we did anything because she was doing so well and I wanted to end it on a good note. So put her in one more time but she wouldn't move forward so I do try to push her forward um, kind of but she keeps kind of resisting and I was getting a bit a little bit frustrated because I was like Moon we've done this like three times today it's not it's not that bad like you just put the other foot on and then we could be done but as you can see she really was being I don't know she just wasn't corroborating and then she decided you know what I'm just coming out so she did bring herself all the way out um, and she refused to get back on and it was 100% my fault I shouldn't have pushed her I should have just waited until she was happy to walk on and not thought oh I mean we've got this like you're being silly now because she really she just wasn't confident on that time so as you can see here it did really set her back and I had to kind of go back to what I was doing on the first day which was kind of just standing on there showing her that there's the hay and everything like that on there and yeah so it took about 20 minutes for her to get on 
so it really set her back but I didn't want to end it on a bad note so I needed to get her back on pretty much um, so I couldn't leave it like that so it did take quite a while but she did get back on eventually after a little bit as I keep walking her around but as you can see here she's even refusing to put her feet on the front ramp so I basically just waited and waited and waited which is what I should have done to begin with I shouldn't have pushed her as much but hey we live and we learn so this is all fast forwarded as well so you can see she really was not happy about getting on so it's just just wait just wait it'll be fine So here I did what I was doing on the second day where I was just standing there um, and she had to kind of decide what she wanted to do. Maybe she didn't want me in there. So I decided to stand at the side and see how she would do with just taking herself on. So we stood there for a bit as well. But she wasn't showing any interest in going on. And I knew that I had to get her back on this time. Otherwise, if you left it on a bad note, that's all that she would remember for the next time. And it'd be even harder to get her on. So I was like, we need to just get on. So again, I was just showing her the hay and being like, look, your hay's here. And she was kind of like, mm, not really having it. But she wanted the hay so I was like oh you need to make kind of your mind up you need to figure out which one and here and here as soon as she kind of normally sniffs the ramp that's when she normally starts getting on so as you can see she did walk on quite timidly but she did get on which is really good so it did take a while but it was my own fault And I decided instead of trying to push her on, if I put her hayna out of the little window there, she's got to move forward to try and get it. So I thought that's probably the best thing to do. Um, so that is what I did. And then I do push it through. So I decided to put the ramp up. Didn't want to shut for some reason. I think there was something cool. So this is day four and I decided to do absolutely everything with her. So undoing the kind of folded thing, taking the ramp down, just as you can see, like there is literally nothing to be scared of. And with Moon, I try and do, she is pretty much bomb proof and I try to keep it that way. So you need to keep exposing them to things that they could possibly be a little bit frightened of so they can realize that you know what well, there's nothing to be scared of so that is what i did and you can see she nearly pretty much walks straight on here but i do take the bar off and put it on the other side like i said um and then i do go in and <clears throat> see if she's gonna walk on and she does but i was really happy with her pretty much walking herself on 
when I was just undoing the back bar. I wasn't sure how she would be either because it was like obviously quite dark so I didn't think I didn't know how she was going to be and she literally walked straight on put the back bar up first time and she was just quite happy so she did really well and she's just probably eating her feed So that is literally all I did with her that day. Um, I didn't even put the back ramp up. I just left it with the bar and just left her in there to eat her feed and some of her hay. And that was all we did that day because she did so well that I didn't think she needed to do any more. So this is day five and this is like complete, the complete kind of thing. So again, I am just opening it all out with her with me, asking her to move back so I can get the ramp down. And again, she's pretty eager to just kind of get on. Um, as you can see, she's trying to go around me to get on. Um, so yeah we've done she's done really really well um popped her in she again was kind of pushing herself in a bit she did kind of put her foot back um and i was trying to see if i could ask her to move forward from the back just slightly and she did really really well so i popped the back bar up and then i popped the ramp up and I decided that she's doing so well that we will go for a little drive because the day before she'd pretty much done the exact same thing so I thought let's go for a little ride um, like just around the block so yeah I was really really happy with her um, it does take a lot of patience you really have to give them the time to feel like they're the ones that want to go on not you the ones forcing them to so yes very happy I would like to get her to walk on on her own um, as of just like swing her hay net, um, her hay net, swing her lead right over her neck and she just walks on so I can go straight up behind her and shut it in but we'll see how that goes so hopefully that will be a, another video but I'm just going to leave her in there let her have something to eat and see what she's doing so that is the end of the video guys thank you for watching hope this was helpful and bye guys I haven't put the bar up because she's eating her feed so she needs to step back to eat her feet just so I don't know but once she's at that then I'll put the bar up so that is it guys right hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll leave some extra videos for you on this side and this side and I'll leave the subscribe button up here hope you enjoyed the video bye guys